Well, it's late on Monday night, and CES is in full effect in Las Vegas. And as promised, Ice Cream Sandwich is coming to the Asus Transformer Prime. And I just got a notification that the system firmware update is ready, so I'm going to update this tablet. So it says here, Asus Firmware Update. A new system firmware update for your device has been downloaded. Install now? Question mark. The system firmware update improves the stability and would not clear any of your data. We strongly suggest you upgrade to this version. Estimated installation time, 10 minutes. You can postpone it. Of course, I don't want to postpone it. I want to install it. So I'm going to hit install here. And it's checking the integrity of the firmware file. And now it's powering off the device. And as always with every Android update, you get this cool little Android graphic here with the gears and a status bar down below. Now we get another status bar and it's filling up and the device is rebooting now. Okay, it says Android is upgrading and it shows that it's optimizing the applications here. Now it says finishing boot. So the first thing you'll notice here is the Roboto font here. So you know that it's ice cream sandwich. Now the lock mechanism here, you can actually unlock it or go straight to the camera. So you know that ice cream sandwich is in full effect on this device. So we're going to unlock it over here. And it says make yourself at home. You can put your favorite apps here. So let's go through this tutorial here. It says to see all your apps, touch the circle. And of course, all the apps are there. It says, choose some apps. To add an app to your home screen, touch and hold it. I'll hit OK here. Well, it looks like the tutorial went away, and that's not a bad thing because I already know how to use Android. But this is the Ice Cream Sandwich app drawer. As you can see, you have your apps and your widgets here. Right now we're on apps. You can go over to widgets if you want. And let's actually go back to the apps here and just scroll through. Now, if you know anything about Ice Cream Sandwich, if you've seen my previous videos on the Galaxy Nexus phone, the interface is the same here. As you can see, the new way that they do the apps here, it actually kind of crosses over from page to page. So you can see that effect there. And of course, the further you go, if you run out of apps, then you go to your widgets. And then you'll come to the end at some point. And then when you come to the extreme ends, the, the graphic actually tilts so that you know that you've gotten to the end. And when you scroll back, you see it's almost like you're replacing all of your um, apps with the next page. And when you scroll all the way to this side, you have the same effect where it kind of just tilts. Again, like I said, the font is different down here. The one thing I'm noticing here is when you actually press these Android keys down here, the whole area lights up. So if I hit the home, you see the whole area around the home key lights up. Another thing that's new here, on top you see all your different representations of your home screen. Right now we're in the center home screen, but as you scroll over, it shows a representation, it moves over. So it basically tells you that you have five home screens here. Now the one thing that's always been constant up here is that you have your Google search. So it's a little bit different than the phone and I believe this is the only other device out there on the market right now that has ice cream sandwich on it. The only other device other than this is the Galaxy Nexus phone. And the Galaxy Nexus is the only phone with ice cream sandwich on it and this is the only tablet currently with stock ice cream sandwich on it. You can always download a ROM if you're a developer, but this is the only device that actually officially has Ice Cream Sandwich on it. So that's actually pretty cool. So let's see the multitasking on this device. I'm going to hit the multitasking button here. And just like with the phone, actually just like the way it was with Honeycomb, you have your list of different apps here that you have had open previously. And you can dismiss them by swiping them to the left or swiping them to the right. Pretty cool. So I'm in the settings now, and as you can see, this is running Android 4.0.3. I'll actually bring that closer so you can actually see it there. There you go. So this is running Ice Cream Sandwich on it. 
Now, one of the new improvements with Android Ice Cream Sandwich are folders. So I have a couple of games here, and I'm going to stack them together. I'm just going to long press and then drop them on each other. And we're going to make a folder here. And we're going to call it Games. Right now it's unnamed. And here's the tutorial here. It says organize your apps with folders. To make a new folder on your home screen, stack one app on top of another. Pretty much what I did. And I'm just going to name it here and I'm going to call it Games. Hit enter and there we go. Now I have a folder here. Let me move it here. And it's called Games. So it's really cool. So I was going to do some benchmarks on this device and I was going to have a full review on it, but I did want to wait until Ice Cream Sandwich came so I can do the full review on the device now. So look forward to a full review, the benchmarks on this device, and more information on the detachable keyboard. One thing I do want to check on here is the camera. Let's check the camera app here and it should have updated to the panoramic feature. As you can see here, you have the ice cream sandwich controls and the end one is the panoramic feature there. I believe there is actually an update I still have to do on this camera, so I will be doing that, but uh, this is the updated ice cream sandwich camera app, so that's a welcome addition here. Okay, this is the camera firmware update and it says Asus Update Service. Firmware update will take approximately five minutes. You will not be able to use your device during this time until the device is updated successfully. Please make sure that there is enough battery power before you continue the firmware update and please do not shut down the device after you start to update the firmware. Do you want to proceed with the system update? Might as well. And it says camera firmware updating. Okay, so the Asus camera firmware has been updated and the device didn't have to shut down for it. It just was able to do it within the operating system. And again, the camera here is the ice cream sandwich camera and I'm sure the results of the actual firmware update are only going to be realized when I actually take photos with it. But uh, look for, let me actually, you can actually see this is the rear facing camera here and uh, you can change it to the front however you want. That'll do the ceiling there. But there's going to be a whole host of new videos on my channel now that this update has been passed on to this device. So keep your eyes peeled for it. And again, this is the only tablet officially on the market right now with Ice Cream Sandwich on it. Also, it's the only quad-core device with Ice Cream Sandwich installed on it, and the second only device that has Ice Cream Sandwich on it. And as you can see, you can actually focus on different areas by just tapping. But we'll get into that in a full dedicated camera app video on this device. And that pretty much does it for this video. So I'll see you guys next time.